Uh, when you are using a MEAD ETX uh, or any of the MEAD uh, telescopes with a handset, there is, there is a question where you put a handset. Usually there is a grip somewhere, but uh, I don't like it, it may break easily. I prefer to have Velcro somewhere on the foot and on the back of the um, handset. So I'm now going to put on the uh, s several strips on this side and this leg and on the other leg just in the case if I want to in any direction to put the handset okay I'm now using six millimeter mix and SLV and uh, the image is suddenly improved I can see a lot of details beside the two equator belts I can see more details the image is uh, slightly brighter and the size of the image is almost the same as this is slightly yet bigger but uh, very close I can see the details I see here under Takahashi on the uh, Asahi Pentax 60 millimeter. this image is definitely brighter and uh, let me just see if I can find a 10 millimeter. and as you can see now it is standing nicely on the leg I put also a few here a few here and a few here and i recommend uh, if you can get one of these stone bags this is really good i don't trust this film for putting my eye pieces anyway it doesn't take more than three this is really convenient look at what i've done i'll put the uh, papers from this uh, uh, velcros and also the scissor that i used to cut this velcros i already have the eyepiece and the cap for the uh, telescope because i may just try to also observe from this port without a diagonal. Japanese style is straight through. I'm using the Asahi Pentax uh, 60 millimeter telescope and uh, this is the specifications of this 800 millimeter and I'm looking at the Jupiter with the 8 millimeter star guider using a one and a quarter to 0 0.96 uh, adapter, eyepiece adapter. The image quality is sharper than a mid ETX 125 with the 18 millimeter Takashi LE. Uh, the, the magnification is almost the same. The size of the Jupiter is the same. You can see two belts of the Jupiter in this and a little bit further but uh, with this uh, telescope and eyepiece, Asahi Pentax has more contrast. I can see clear, more you know, resolution it has. It's a tiny refractor, almost half the size. Yeah, that's a half the size of the ETX 125. That's 127 millimeter aperture, the size of the mirror. The mid ETX is perfectly collimated, so there is no problem with the collimation. In and out of focus uh, image uh, is really nice. Ser you know, there's some complete circle. You can see the rings and everything out of focus. So it's, it's well collimated. The same with the Asai Pentax 60 millimeter. So this is also well collimated. Okay, I'm now using six millimeter mix and SLV and uh, the image is suddenly improved. I can see a lot of details beside the two equator belts. I can see more details. The image is uh, slightly brighter and the size of the image is almost the same as this. It's slightly yet bigger, but uh, very close. I can see the details I see here on the, Takahashi, on the uh, Asahi Pentax 60 millimeter. This image is definitely brighter and uh, let me just see if I can find a 10 millimeter. So the image now with the uh, Asahi Pentax uh, 60 millimeter and uh, 6 millimeter uh, Wixen SLV is equal to the mid ETX 125 uh, with the eyepiece of 10 millimeter. The image in this one is uh, brighter, although the details visible, it looks equal. It's easier to see in this one slightly than the other one. That other one is a little bit dimmer, the Asahi Pentax is a little bit dimmer, but it's more pleasant probably. 
which one I prefer this one is a little bit too bright and uh, although I can see the details first in the uh, Maxatov if me DTX uh, 125 then uh, and second then when I know it is there I find it in the Asai Pentax having said that here I see a slight yellowness of the color uh, of the planet slight chromatic aberration not much is not you know in a way that is something like uh, in this uh, meat four inch telescope but you can see a slight not much but with the MIDI TX uh, you don't see chromatic aberration is color free but the resolution the clarity contrast is not as good as the Pentax yeah definitely this one the contrast is really good I can see details that I don't see in the other one I prefer this aside Pentax although it is half the aperture of that one it swings that comes to the same conclusion always reached with every telescope and refractor and reflector that I had uh, refractors always outperform uh, the uh, reflectors mirror based with the central obstructions uh, optical systems uh, and they punch above their weight almost twice the size uh, of the aperture so 60 millimeter even outperforms a midi tx which is which has a um, twice the amount of the aperture of this 60 millimeter really good uh, I'm happy with this. If I want to pick up between these two telescopes, uh, probably I will pick the Asai Pentax. It's a more, you know, grab and go. Uh, although the image in the uh, Midi TX is not bad, don't take me wrong, but uh, the contrast is not as much as what you can see here. Uh, here, the contrast is ready, you know, readily visible. With that, you have to look for it and then adopt your eye and see. The image is too bright for you. Uh, I prefer this one if I was going to pick one.